Guys, if you're somebody who uses Apple Notes quite a bit on your iPhone, then this video is for you. Apple Notes is a huge part of my life and I use Apple Notes pretty much every single day. So we wanted to make a video about all the tips and tricks and all, everything you need to know about Apple Notes in order to use it to the fullest of its extent and capability. All right, without further ado, let's jump right into this. First tip we have is that you can actually use Siri to make a quick note. Hey Siri, make a note about how to make Apple Notes better. Okay, I created a note. So now when you tap into that, you're gonna see the note right here, ready to go, and you can add whatever you need to add. The next tip we have is the fact that you can actually lock particular notes. So let's say if you have your passwords or something sensitive that you're storing on your phone, you can go ahead and lock a note. So all you gotta do is you can long press on a particular note and you'll see an icon here that says lock note. Now you can go ahead and enter your password and your uh, verification. Now it'll say lock added and my note here will be locked. Now you can actually move freely within your locked notes. Unless you hit this lock now uh, icon here at the bottom, once you do that, all your notes will be locked. And if you wanna go into that, you're gonna have to unlock it with the password that you set. One of the reasons that we all make notes is in order for us to stay organized. How can you stay organized within the actual notes app? It's kind of like meta, like multi layers. Organization within organization. So what you can do in order to stay organized is you can make folders and subfolders. I can swipe to the left and make this a folder Apple Notes. Now from here, what you can do is you can drop, drag and drop particular folders as subfolders into other folders. So you can do a whole bunch of organization that you want right in the app itself. Now the next tip has all to do with your actual checklist. So I love making checklists quite a bit on Apple Notes because it helps me you know, keep track of certain things and thoughts. Now you can see in this example that we have here, we can do several things. So um, in order to make the checklist, all you gotta do is click this little circle here with the check mark inside. Now that I have a whole bunch of checklists made here, once I actually check something off, you'll see that they go to the very bottom here. Another thing you can do is you can long hold one of the checklists and you can kind of move them wherever you want. You can make checklists as like sub checklists so you can indent them by literally just dragging to the right. Let's say you have like a whole bunch of text here like hey hello how's it going uh, goodbye. Now if you want to quickly make this into a checklist all you got to do is quickly highlight all of this then we're going to hit the checklist button and as long as each of them are in their own line all of them will be made into a checklist and then you can go ahead and do the same same checklists from here. Now the next tip has to do with pinning notes. Pinning notes becomes very important if you have a whole bunch of notes in your Apple Notes like I do. Like I think I have somewhere around like 457 notes notes inside Apple Notes currently. And if I wanna keep track of everything, then it becomes very tough. In order to pin a note, all you gotta do is just swipe to the right, and then you will see this pin icon here. If you hit that, then it'll automatically pin, or if you do the same thing, it'll unpin the note. So that way you can keep the most important notes right up at the very top end. Okay, now let's say you have like family and friends, and you guys like taking notes together, or like you're starting a project, or a business, or even a shopping list with your partner, and you you want to be able to share your notes you can do that very easily all you got to do is go into any particular note and then we're gonna go uh, we're gonna click here and then we can share note and literally just select how we want to share that note you have several different options like iMessage whatsapp you can email it you can use any different application to kind of send the shared note there's even sharing options which allows you to lock them out from making any changes so you can set them as view only so this makes it very easy to collaborate with somebody else so very handy now for this next tip not everybody is a list person some people are more visual and they want to be able to see their notes easily change the way your notes are displayed by hitting the three dot icon at the very top right corner and then you're gonna go view gallery now this will make your notes all uh, into like a gallery view so if you're somebody who is a lot more visual and wants to be able to see which notes are where then this is pretty handy as well 
Now, one of the reasons why I love taking notes on Apple Notes rather than, you know, using like pen and paper or something like that is because my notes are actually searchable. So if I put down an idea or jot down an idea and let's say weeks later or months later, I wanna pull it up, then I can do that very easily by simply just swiping down from the top and then it will even search through my particular notes and it will allow me to literally go directly into the note that I'm looking for. So this makes it very, very easy for you to look up any particular note or any keywords that you wrote down within a particular note. So this is very handy. Searchability is key. And now for this next tip, it's all about making your notes a lot more easily accessible. So something that you don't have to go find the icon. So if you wanna take a quick note, uh, then you can do so. In order to do this, we're gonna go into settings. We're gonna go into, um, control center and we're going to add notes. So all I gotta do is swipe from the top right, scroll down, I'll see this note icon here. Once I click that, it will open up a brand new note for me to go in and type whatever I need to do. So this is an easy way to quickly access notes no matter which homepage or which app that you're in. Now for this next tip, a lot of people actually forget that you can scan documents right into the Apple Notes app. So in order to do that, you're gonna go into a particular note and then from here, you can easily just hit that camera icon, you'll see scan documents, you're gonna hit a scan document, and then let's say here, uh, Apple Notes automatically, like the iPhone will recognize what the document is, and it's really nice because it draws like this like square around it. I go ahead, I take a photo, then it'll automatically line up the actual document. Um, let's say keep scan and it will make it flat too. So in this particular case, you saw that this was like you know, at a certain angle, my actual scan is nice and flat. Like it looks like I literally took a picture of this. Like it looks really nice. Now after you hit done, it'll automatically make the title of the document the app, like the largest text on the page. So in this case, it says Grove Made. It will make Grove Made the title of the document. In any case, I hope this video was beneficial for you guys. I just wanted to kind of put together some quick thoughts and tips and tricks about Apple Notes because it's such a big part of my life. And I know if you're probably watching this video, it's a big part of your life as well. So hopefully going forward we learned a few things here that we can implement in our apple notes in any case if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and give this video a like share it with your friends and family and also as usual sub to the channel because we're going to be putting out a lot of helpful content just like this video now thank you so much for watching we will see you guys in the next one take care